G'day, I'm Andrew Abrahams. In December 2013, I rode solo across the Atlantic Ocean in this beautiful boat here and won the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge. There is absolutely no substitute for a hands-on experience of the many challenges faced in an extreme sport like this. No textbook could ever teach you the knowledge and respect of the ocean like a solo row. I guarantee you will never hear another story like this. So please sit back and enjoy, be inspired, and I'll look forward to meeting with you in the near future. When things are going really good, often it's not far around the corner where something bad's gonna go wrong. For me, it was January the 8th. I called it the day from hell. So I wake up this morning and I get out and I have a look and the autopilot stopped and it's a pretty rough day. So I thought, sure, what am I gonna do? So I quickly jump on the oars and I start rowing and foot steering. I'm rowing along and a big wave comes along, hits me sideways and the whole boat goes sideways down the face of this wave. My oars are out like outriggers, but eventually an oar breaks. And I grab a hold of my shoes so that I've got the steering attached to it and I sit there for three hours steering, foot steering with my hands, looking at the waves coming going that way. I've got a broken autopilot, which is like another person on your boat. A broken oar that I can't replace. And now my cabin's all soaking wet. And the wet bed ended up being one of the worst things of the trip because you couldn't dry it out. And I'll slip down the back of that boat and I'm, I'm hugging the post down the back of the boat. My family jewels are on the line here, right? And I'm rock, getting rocked around on the boat trying to untangle these ropes. These are the things you do when you're fatigued and you can't make right decisions. Anyway, eventually, good old Neptune comes along and says, well, I don't want you sitting there anymore. And a big wave comes along and just goes smack. And it hits me so hard, I can't hang on. And I go off the boat. Anyway, I get back in the boat and scramble back into the footwell. I look down and I tap my leg open down to the bone. So mentally, that really knocks me around. I end up jumping in the cabin and I don't want to get out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to hear my full story, please contact me and prepare yourself for some serious stories of great adventure from the high seas as I share with you my success and how I did it. And always remember, you got a wanna!